Welcome back to the next video on Google Apps Script tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we discussed about how to set value to a cell and how to set value to a range. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to set dynamic value to a range. So if you look at this uh, line, we set three rows of data using a set value. And this is the three rows that we set in the previous video. And this is fine as long as the number of rows is not exceeding five or maybe 10. And if it goes beyond that, then you cannot uh, assign the value. Ideally you can, but uh, it's not readable. So to make it more readable, you can take this 2D array out of the set values function and you can create a variable name. Let's name this as a data, assign the values to this variable name data. And you can just pass the variable name here. So, when you pass the variable name, you have to ensure that this is a two dimensional array because we are dealing with ranges, not with cell. So let me execute and see. And before executing, I have to clear this out. Then only I will get to know whether it's actually working or not. So let me run this again. So this is, we can see the data gets populated over here. So this is how you have to refactor your code to make it more readable now we'll move on to how to set values to a range dynamically so i'm going to use a simple um, nested for loop to generate some data and set those data to a specified range so in the real time you can uh, use the nested for loop uh, to generate a two dimensional array you can get you might get some data through api or uh, maybe you can generate the data out of the existing data in some other uh, spreadsheet so this is how uh, you're going to use that uh, in the real time so i'm i'm going to i'm trying to simulate the same here so let me use a two dimensional array let me comment this out first and I want to generate some data so let's name this as a data and right now it's empty array and I'm going to target that in the sheet 2 starting from a1 to let's say maybe 20 rows having three columns so first I will generate the data and before uh, using the set values, I should have the data ready. I'll use a for loop starts from i is equal to zero, i lesser than uh, this i specify the number of rows, or the outer for loop specify the rows, and the inner for loop is responsible for column. So I want the number of rows to be 10 here, and i plus plus. We don't need this extra space. And inside this for loop, I will use an inner for loop, which starts from zero. I've used the variable name j. j is lesser than three and j plus plus. So I will use the curly braces. And here I'm going to set values to this data. So data dot push. So push is a method that was uh, present in the array and when you're pushing you have to push an array so that it will be a 2d array otherwise it will be a one dimensional array so i'm going to generate some random number to generate some random number i will use the math dot random so which will generate some random number starting from 0 to 1 so i'm multiplying that with 100 to get number from 1 to 100 math dot random same into 100 so we'll copy that here so here i'm pushing three data because each data represent a row and in each row we have to pass three elements because we specify the number of columns as three so first let's see the data looks good i'm using the logger dot log and printing the data so here is our data, our dynamically generated data. So inside an array, we contain a child array and each 
child array hold three values so the data looks good now we can go ahead and assign this data to the sheet 2 starting from a1 so we have to use the same logic here and instead of sheet 1 i will use a sheet 2 and have to use the get range so get range either you can use this is a string notation or you can use the column and row count notation so i will go with a row and column count so it starts from 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 1 represent a1 and it should go up to and if you're not sure how uh, many rows and how many columns your data contain you can still generate that dynamically uh, for example data is an array which hold uh, my values that I need to populate in the spreadsheet so I can make use of this data this data has a method length which return the number of rows in the 2d array and I can use data of zero dot length so which gives me the number of column count so by doing this we don't need to hot code the number of rows and the number of column counts here and once we target the range the next thing we have to use is set values and set values accept a 2d array and we already have the 2d array generated here so i'm just going to pass that array here now click on the run so execution is completed let's go back to the sheet 2 and this is our dynamically generated values so this is how you need to generate the values and set the value to a range in the spreadsheet. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.